Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Breezy's Pups. I hope you're having a breezy day in this breezy, in a breezy way. <laughs> Should that be my new tagline? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, like, what's that? I think that was a little, you know, over the top, but anyways, so. won a Revere in a giveaway on Instagram. <laughs> Guys, I have been entering giveaways for Revere for like months. I've been wanting the Revere for months and I was just like, you know. By the way, if you don't know what Revere is, it is a blow dryer that doesn't blow air. It sucks air in. So when you put your hair in it, you'll see, you'll see. It's, it's awesome. Anyways, I've been wanting a rubber for months, guys. I've been entering giveaway after giveaway after giveaway. And I finally won one. Um, it was a giveaway that was by uh, Instagrammer um, Tip of All Trades. And she was working with Revair and they did a giveaway and I answered it at once. So today I'm gonna be doing a review. I already know I'm gonna love it, but like, you know, I had to do a review. Like this is my first time using it. We gotta show like my reaction so that it could be authentic. You know. So um firstly, I'm not gonna do an unboxing because I did an unboxing on my Instagram story. If you saw it, so I have Breezy's puffs. But I'm gonna show you what came with it. Okay, so it didn't I it didn't come um what they sent me wasn't just the red air, it was like the full bundle or something like that. So it came with these clips. So like sectioning clips, it's nice, it's like a matte black. And it doesn't look like it'll snag your hair or anything, and it's a really nice size. So it comes with four of those. It comes with two ponytail holders that were actually used to like hold, like to like attach tags onto the product, which was really creative. But you know, I'm gonna be using these as ponytail holders if I can get my hair in here. Maybe we'll use it for sectioning, but it comes with these two. It comes with the Red Bear um, wand holder. It's called Get a Grip, I think it's called, something like that. Wand holder, and you put the Red Bear, by the way, this is the Red Bear. You put it in here and it holds it and all that. Um, and it also comes with the 360, 60. It comes with the 360 hair mister. Now I'm gonna be talking about all these products like you've never heard of the Red Bear before. So if you've heard of it, you can skip this. I'll put the number on when I actually start the review. But you know, I have people that have never heard of this and don't know what it is that watch my videos as well. And I need to start realizing that and catering to my audience. So. A 360 mister is different than a spray bottle in that, so like, this doesn't have water in it right now, but I'll show you with my other one. Instead of just like having a spritz, it's actually more of a mist, and if you click it once, it's like a continuous mist. So instead of just being like, it's like, it's really cool. So it's like a continuous mist. Um, so it comes with one of those. Now. The Revere is a really big machine. It's already known. Like, if you know what the Revere is, you know it's big. I mean, it's worth like $400, so obviously it's gonna be big. I mean, what did you expect, I guess? But I don't know. Some people complain that it's too big, but I mean, this is like the first step in this type of technology. This is the only reverse blow dryer. And just like cell phones start getting smaller and smaller, this will also start getting smaller. That's what they said on the Revere Live, because I'd be on those lives. In years to come, it'll start getting smaller. So I'm not gonna complain, but I'm gonna be happy that I'm one of the first people to, or I, like, I'm gonna be happy that I live in the era of the first reverse blow dryer. So this is what the handheld part looks like. I know it looks a little phallic, but <laughs> yeah, and the fact that it like sucks and stuff. But anyway, yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, This is the part that like, I was watching a video on it on what it like does. This part has like the heat or something and it'd be, so, I don't know, but this does something. And then your hair, if your hair is long, it actually can go all the way down into the tube. So your hair goes into this little hole and it just sucks. And it's a very long tube and we're still going. 
And then the tube is connected to this body here. And on the front you have your, this isn't heat settings, this is actually the speed setting of the air. The heat setting is actually on the handle. You can see right there. So this is where you're gonna pick your heat, okay? And then the speed setting is on the, the body. I'll show you guys a little bit closer. Oop. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's seven, seven settings for that. And then this, I'm assuming, is the power button. So, yeah. So, in case you don't know what the Rev Air is, I'm just gonna read a bit, a few blurbs off of their website. It says, for the first time ever, women have an option that gives them the power and flexibility to style their hair in a healthy, natural way without high heat or chemicals and in the fraction of the time it takes with traditional methods. So, you're probably wondering, why did you want the Rev Air? Like, why didn't you just buy like a $50 blow dryer? Well, because when I blow dry my hair, the majority of the hair that I lose, like hair loss, is from tension from a brush or tension from, even if I'm just doing like the stretching method, like, like it's just hard when you have to hold your hair and then blow dry it and all that. It takes way, it takes way too much time. And the fact, I like the Rev Air because it's stretching your hair for you while also drying your hair. It's stretching it for you. You don't need to use your hand to stretch it for you. So those of you that like to use the tension method when you're blow drying, meaning you're holding a piece of hair and you're just blow drying it, say this is the blow dryer, blow drying it, instead of you know having a brush and then blow drying it and doing it that way, which is actually more damaging to the hair. This is definitely for you. It costs a lot. Not gonna lie, I would suggest looking on eBay or Facebook Marketplace for pre-owned Rev Airs or entering some giveaways. They do a giveaway damn near every week. So go ahead and enter a giveaway. You might get lucky, you never know. It might take a few months like it did for me. Also guys, it doesn't really, it monitors like the amount of heat that is on your hair. Um, I read in the, in the, in the, the I read in the directions that it actually will shut off if it gets too hot. So like, and then somebody I spoke to that owns it said like it's hottest setting is like warm to them. So it doesn't get too hot and it's supposed to stretch your hair. Another thing about the Rev Air is that because it's sucking your hair, it's, it's like drying your hair in a downward motion, meaning your hair follicles that come out are actually being sucked straight down, if that makes sense. So like, you know how like, I'll put a picture of a hair follicle here. See, like your hair follicles come out, you know, kind of like a Christmas tree and the Rev Air kind of just straightens and sleeks out the hair so that it's all drying in a downward motion, if that makes sense. All right, guys, that's enough talking about it. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Oh, by the way, this turban also came with the Rev Air and I love it because I've been wanting one for a while because I've been ruining my t-shirts and my t-shirts aren't absorbent and this pretty much did the job. So yeah, uh, it's just black and then it has the Rev Air colors, the black and the blue. Um, and I love the colors by the way. I love blue and turquoise and teal. Those are my favorite colors, so yeah. So the instructions said to use it on clean, like dry hair. I'm gonna use a little bit of leave-in and some heat protectant, just because I just don't wanna put just my regular, regular hair. Sorry, my edges are growing back. Look at that, we growing. But anyways, putting my regular no product hair in there because my hair is gonna come out dry. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the Camille Rose um, Curl Love Moisture Milk, just a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna put some, <coughs> okay. That's the only thing I hate about these bottles that aren't like pump bottles. It's so hard to get the product out. And now I got too much. By the way, my hair is freshly washed and deconditioned and all that good stuff. The heat protectant I'm using is this one. I'm sure everybody has seen this heat protectant somewhere. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use a few spritzes of that. I don't need too much because I just did a protein treatment. So, right. It's said to start at the suction level, the air flow level of two, um, I'll put it on a two and I'll put the heat probably on this highest setting just because I want my hair to get as straight as possible. Without further ado, here we'll go. 
Oh, also I've heard from other reviews that it's really loud, so I'm already expecting that. So, I don't know y'all, I'm like, can you see I'm a little like scared? I don't know. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, I don't even got it plugged in. I'm like, oh shit, it don't work. If anyone's curious how long the cord is, it's a decent length. So this is the body and this is the cord. I don't know if that helps, but. Oh, it has like a light on it. All right, guys, I don't know if you could see this, but the handle lights up when it's on. And I think, wait, let me turn off my ring light real quick. All right. Y'all see that? Wait, 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 wait. Hey. <laughs> that is really cool. I didn't know the handle lit up. That's pretty cool. Okay, anyways. <laughs> All right, I don't really know what I'm doing. It's not turning on. But the light is on, so I know that it's on. Okay guys, I got it to work. The problem was I had the little front thing open where the filter is and you have to make sure that's all the way closed or else it won't turn off. So now, <laughs> I'm gonna wet my hair a little bit more. It's flat and dry now. Just a little bit. All right, now I will try it out. For now, I'm gonna put it on the air level, air flow level of two, and then I'm gonna put it on uh, the high heat side. Okay, all right, so that was so weird, <laughs> but cool. All right, so right off the bat, my hair feels dry. So I feel like I'm gonna use a little bit more um, leave-in. And then also, there, like I still have some texture in my hair. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna put the section level to level three instead, and we'll see how that goes, because I feel like it's not pulling my hair enough. But I am gonna use some more leave-in, just because it feels a little bit dry. And then we'll try that again. <laughs> All right, so definitely, I definitely needed a higher suction setting. My hair doesn't feel as dry now that I added more, um, what did I add, y'all? More leave-in conditioner. Uh, so look at these results. This is definitely more so what I was going for. Uh, my hair is fully stretched. My roots are fully stretched. And I didn't have to be over here like, vroom, vroom, vroom. All I had to do was be like. It's like it does all the work for you. That's what I love about it. There's no move my hand around. You just leave it on there. And this was a pretty sizable section. Like, look at this section. Granted, it took me a little bit longer because I'm still trying to feel, get a feel for what's gonna work for my hair. But now that I got this down packed, y'all, all I gotta do is take out these twists which are already detangled. Already detangled. Okay. Put the thing on there and just be chilling, watching some Netflix. Like, I am obsessed. This is so worth it. Even if I didn't win this giveaway, I would have bought it eventually. Like, I just feel like it's so worth it. And by the way, y'all, I'm about to be a blown out natural, blow dry natural, meaning I'm gonna have my hair blow dry for a majority of the time. Um, I'm trying to see this length and I'm not seeing no length of tension. And I feel like if I have my hair uh, stretched for most of the time, I'll have less breakage. Now ask me why, I just think I'll have less breakage because my ends won't be all tangled into each other, which is where I have most of my issues. And if y'all don't know, I just dyed my hair, so my ends are a little like, eh, right now. But, y'all, all in all, I'm rambling, but all in all, I'm in love with it. Let me finish it up, but I'm actually twist this hair up, but I am so <laughs> happy, y'all. When I found out I won the giveaway, I was like up. 
screaming. I scared my fiance because like whenever I like find out about something, I gasp really loudly and he thought something was wrong. I scared him. But once he found out that I run the web air because he knew, everybody knew. My mom knew I wanted the web air. My friends knew. My friend Tanisha knew I wanted the web air. Like I'd be entering her in the giveaways and she like, I'm not even trying to get a red air. Like anyway, so me and my fiance were up jumping and screaming because I'm like, <laughs> because like y'all and I prayed for it. So let me tell y'all, prayer works. I'm not trying to like, anyways. But yeah, this twist, I don't know what's going on with this twist, but I'm gonna finish up this twist. I'm gonna do the rest of my sections and I'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts. Okay guys, so I just finished blow drying my entire head. It probably did take um, around the same amount of time that it would have taken with a regular blow dryer, but my hair isn't in the best condition so like my ends in some parts just weren't getting straight but that's because i really need a trim um but i'm not going to be trimming my hair um for a few weeks because i just trimmed it and i'm really not like like some of these ends has gotta go but i might get a professional trim soon just so that my hair is like healthy or whatever but um yeah it was super easy to use i ended up using the highest um airflow setting and the highest heat setting because that was like the only way my hair would really get like you know fully straight without any texture or whatever but your hair might be different so make sure you start off at the lowest setting and then make your way to the highest setting i also have really kinky hair and a really high density so i needed the highest setting possible boom so yeah i was gonna do a twist out but my hair is not staying in twists like they keep just coming out so i took all the twists out I might try to do a smaller twist out, like with smaller twists, but we'll see. If I do, then I will add that to this video. If not, then this will be it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you, Rever, for this giveaway. Thank you, Tiff of All Trades, for this giveaway. I am super excited. I'm going to be using my Rever regularly during my wash days. So stay tuned to see what type of different styles I use on my blown out stretched hair. And I will see you guys in the next video. So make sure to subscribe also and click that notification button so you never miss another video from me. <laughs> okay, bye.